Hi there, good morning and welcome to Quentin Carpenter's Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get a jar and fill it with a beautiful landscape. In this case it's a sunrise over the Hastings Pier that I took this morning. Um, to do this you're going to need to use a couple of layers. You can add in a radiant background if you wish or not if you don't. But you will need a photograph of a jar and a photograph of a landscape. I'll show you how to do it. So first thing you do is open the landscape, there's the pier. Then you are going to need to open and place embedded a picture of your jar. So go find your jar, click place. Once you've got your jar, you can have a sort of sneak peek of what it will look like at the end by going to your layer menu and going on to hard light. And you can see what will happen to the inside of the jar. Now, we could do it really simply with just putting the jar like that. We could then select subject. Go on to the background. Create a mask. And there you go. We've just put the landscape in the jar really, really quickly. We could experiment with different layer modes here to see if there's a better layer mode. Multiply sometimes works really well. It's a bit grey on this one, so hard light is more effective. But you can see, compared to the one I showed you at the beginning, it hasn't quite got the depth and the sort of distortion going on. So if we go back to our image here, before we do the mask, so I'll just delete that. Before we do the mask, we're going to distort the background image. So to do that, we're going to go to Edit, Transform, and Distort. And then up here, we're going to use the Curve, and we're going to go to the Bulge. Once we've got the Bulge, we'll just zoom out a little bit, we're going to drag it down so that it creates that curvy effect. Once we've done that, we'll press Enter. Then we'll use the side tools to drag it round to fit the shape of the jar. So you can see it's a more curved effect, like as if it was inside of a jar. So I'll put the jar back on, you can see how it's starting to look. We can then drag it into place as we see fit, which gives it a much more exciting look. Now, obviously we don't want all this space, so if we zoom in again, we can then use the crop tool to take away the area we don't need. And as you can probably see, we've still got bits of the landscape outside of the jar. So we go back to the jar, we go select subject. Once we have selected our subject, we go over to our mask on the background layer and add the layer mask in, and that tidies that up. We can then, if we wish to, add the gradient layer instead of the background, if we haven't got a nice background, so we click plus. We go to our gradient tool, make sure we've got black and white selected. Draw our gradient, like so. Hide it for a moment, go back to uh, we want to go to our jar, sorry, go to select subject again, and this time go to the gradient layer and put another layer mask in. And once we've done that, sorry, my bad, we need to just invert the selection, invert the selection. Then add a layer mask, and there we have our jar with a gradient background. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed watching this, and you can see we can add adjustments to the brightness and contrast, etc., to make it look like that. Have fun putting landscapes in jars. Okay, thanks for watching, and um, if you enjoyed it, leave a comment down below, say what you thought about it, and um, hit that subscribe button and tick the notification bell, and obviously thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye.